Welcome, Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic here bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. All right, this is for the collective Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Number 29. All right. So, first of all, the number 29 could be significant. It could be somebody's birth date, the day that you met, an anniversary of some kind. It could be somebody's age. You could be seeing the numbers 29, 222, 999. You may be seeing those. Um, but this card is a card of temptation. So this is kind of like the devil of this deck. Um, so there is like this intense desire, uh, this intense physical attraction between you and this person that you're thinking about. Um you know, and I'm seeing like the apple here, you know, just immediately making me feel like, you know, being tempted, you know, it's like so hard to not like forbidden fruit, forbidden love, for, forbidden desire. You're not supposed to be with this person or want this person and vice versa. But there's like this intense pull. You cannot understand why you feel this way about each other. But clearly there's something very intense between the two of you. You know, this even shows us um, a lot of like greed. You know, like, not want anyone else to have you. So, wow. Let's see. Alright. So, what's happening? What's going on? Okay, so I mean, some of you, this could be third party. I don't feel like that's for the predominant collective, but for some of you, that definitely may be relevant. Um, let's see, let's find where I'm going to put this. I need to get a little, I used to have a little prop stone up here that would hold everything. I need to get one of those back up here. Okay. Could we'll be dealing with or thinking about a Sagittarius. I'm going to try to make so you can see all these cards. So just bear with me here while I kind of fluff everything around. Cancer, strong Cancer, Pisces energy. Okay. There's Pisces again. Scorpio. Justice, Libra. Okay, so first of all, very, 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 very strong Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio. But I'd say Pisces, Cancer is definitely the, the strongest that's coming through. Um... This could involve a legal situation or a legal matter. Maybe there's a restraining order or some kind of block or barrier. Maybe there are influences or people who do not want the two of you connecting. Um, you know, we definitely feel that here. It's like somebody just does not favor this connection. Somebody does not support it. Somebody could be pulling the strings or... This is also giving me... I know this is like, more like the devil, but this is kind of giving me like magician type vibes as well it's somebody pulling the strings somebody calling the shots somebody keeping this person from you and vice versa there's like a, a masculine here i mean this could be someone's father this could be someone's relative their spouse or i mean it could be vice versa i mean it could be somebody who just has this sense of con whether they're male or female maybe they just have like the sense of like control or like they feel like i don't know I mean, this feels to me like somebody's just consumed with some kind of power. Okay. Let's look at the situation. Sorry, this is a little mad. I don't have a whole lot of space here, so bear with me while I try to get this lined up. Um, Three of Cups being situation. I mean, this shows that, you know, you were having fun together. You had a good time with this person. Like, when you guys were connecting, like, it felt good. It was exciting. You know, you really enjoyed being around each other. You, maybe, you might have been dating this person. It could be kind of casual and light and flirtatious and fun. But Three of Cups can also show that there's too many people involved. So this could be friends who didn't, just, for whatever reason, just did not approve of you. Like, there could be somebody who's saying... Oh, you don't need to be with this person. There's somebody filming this person, like whispering in their ear, saying, you don't need to be with this person. This person's not good for you, whatever. And it's about control. It's manipulation. It's toxic. There's very negative energy here between you and this person. 
Um, like I said, some of you, some of you it could have been third party. Maybe they were actually dating this person or, or, or involved in some way with this person. I mean, this person definitely doesn't have either of your best interests at heart here. Three of Cups. That situation. So, there's someone else. Whether it's romantic or not, there's someone else blocking the situation between you and this person. Um, and the challenge to all this, it's like this is a situation. They're trying to pacify this person. They're trying to find harmony and balance with this person. We have temperance here. The situation, the challenge being that this per they're, tr they're trying to make this person happy. They're trying to find peace with them. And that's obviously coming between you and them. The thing about it is, what happened here, this person made some kind of choice. Now, they may have felt legally bound to this person or this situation. Like, maybe this is a family person or a person in regards to their business, okay? Um, that they, ha they felt they had to. They had to go along with whatever this person said. So what they, that's what they did. So, the judgment card, it's like, you know, why this is all happening. Root of the situation. They made a choice. They made a decision to separate the two of you or to have distance here to possibly marry someone else to fall under someone's control yeah it's like somebody's being manipulated so what is the past high priestess This was a secret. There were secrets. Now, could have been a couple of things. Either your connection to them was a secret. Whether you knew that or not, people were not fully aware of you, your connection, what you meant to each other. I think this person was not also completely honest, dishonest with you. There may have been someone else they were involved with. They were not telling you the extent of that. They may have told you, oh yeah, we're divorced, we're separate, I'm living on the couch, whatever. They were not fully honest about that. This person tried to juggle two situations. And they made a choice to pursue this other person. And they have regrets about it. This person's manipulative. It's like this person has some kind of power or control over them. They allow this person to have control over them. You know, with the high priestess here, you know, I think that there was a very spiritual connection between you and this person. You know, you may have even like read each other's thoughts or spoke telepathically to each other, had dreams or visions about each other. You had this deep understanding, this deep sense, this deep knowing. There could have even been fears about how spiritually connected the two of you were, like the intensity. It could have been it could have been overwhelming in a, in a way, you know. But I also feel that for some of you, the past situation here is that this was a secret relationship. That it was in some way forbidden or frowned upon. That there was specifically a person here trying to drive a wedge between you and them. Like I said, they could have been married to them or somehow, you know, indebted to them. They had some kind of oath or something or they felt that it was what they had to do. Now, what I am seeing here, though, I'm seeing some kind of resurface or some type of return. And this may surprise you. This person's trying to get some different kind of vantage point on the situation. It's like because there's some kind of distance here. This person is still curious, you know, what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. If the desire is still mutual there, like if you want to pursue it. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of major arcana here. So, you know, very strong energies between you and them. You know, this is about pursuit, being in pursuit of something. Quick action. So this is coming in quick. This is present energy you're hearing from this person. Now, I think... The thing about it is, you're hearing from this person, but their situation has not really changed. And so it puts you in a difficult position because you're thinking about your long-term future. You know, you say you, you're, you're coming in, you're saying all these things, you're saying that you're interested, you're saying you want this, that, and the other, but yet your situation is the same. You haven't changed anything. And so you have these questions. You want communication. You want clarity. You want answers. You want to know that you can move forward, build something, or, you know, is what's the point? Are you going to keep going in the same repetitive cycle over and over and over? Are you doomed to keep repeating that? Or is this person going to make necessary changes? You have all these questions. And so what I'm seeing here with the hangman, like I said, that's Pisces. You could be dealing with a fellow Pisces. But the hangman, it's things are stagnant. Things feel stuck. This is the future energy. This is what you expect when you see this person. They're still in their situation. Now, they may have more clarity about your connection, their connection with this other person. 
but they're still involved. That's what you need to know. So here you are as the Queen of Pentacles, whether you are male or female. I think you guys are focused on your family, your work, your home life, um, your stability, your success. I think that you know, you've got a lot of other things to take care of, you know, Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth, you know what you deserve. You're not going to settle for less than that. Now, it could be for some of you that you yourself may already be involved with someone. Uh, or maybe you have children or people that depend on you. Or maybe your own business or something like that. But this is working very hard. Um, accomplishment, success. So, you know, I think that you're doing very well where you are. But I think that you don't let anyone... Because again, it's look at how, like, calm, collected at peace she looks externally even if you may be feeling this the tower even if you may be feeling like you know a lot of pain upset and things that have been unexpected there can be a lot going on it's like you keep your composure and you you know stay very strong you stay very grounded hold your head high you don't let others see you know whatever you're struggling with whatever you're dealing with you know and it's like this person from the outside looking in thinks that maybe they're, you're not as affected by the separation or by the situation or any difficulties in your life, you know, as you know they may be because you just look so composed. You look so together like it's not affecting you. But even if it, you may be feeling this, the tower, there can be a lot of unexpected things. This person's coming in and you're trying to kind of remain neutral, trying not to look affected by it. But it is. It's like very startling. It's like, like unexpected. It's it's a major change. You still feel that spark toward this person, but like I said, you're trying not to let it show. It's like you're keeping your cards, you know, close to your chest. You're not letting it be seen. I think that you fear that this person will try to protect their situation as it is. I think your fear is that this person, even though you have a lot of intense feelings and desire for each other, the problem is that even if you feel this way about each other, they're allowing someone and they're to come between you and they're trying to mend that, heal that, to keep balance in it, even in the separation, even in like the return, like whatever's happening here. I think your fear here is that this person's going to keep doing this. That they're going to protect what they have with this other person. They're going to keep defending this other person, sticking it out with them, making excuses for them. That they will not see things more clearly. I do think your person is beginning to see things more clearly. But I think that this person is also nervous about this other person because, again, this person has some type of control over them. This person is very manipulative. This person, they may, they may be afraid of them. Like what they could do, what they could say. They could try to ruin their reputation. They could sabotage their relationship with their children, their family. You know, what would this person do? What extent would they go to? Because like this person doesn't want to release them. This person is like the devil, right? Toxic. And I think that your, your hope is that this person can defend themselves and your connection. But I think you do deep down fear that this person will stay with this person and try to protect to keep both now actions outcome what you can expect here we have the queen of wands i think this is really about you kind of taking control of the situation now i mean this also could mean a couple of things keep in mind this is general so take what resonates leave what does not i think for some of you you know if you have strong fire in your chart it could be that this person is choosing to pursue you or put their focus on you if their part of the karmic is predominantly fire, it could be that maybe they're choosing to stay with that person, like I said. Um, but just in general, for the collective, I think this is about you kind of knowing your worth, getting your confidence back, and focusing on yourself, trying to be excited about other things. Knowing that this person still, you know, is trying to connect with you, reach out, it's definitely a big confidence boost, Queen of Wands. I think that's what your really focus is here. Now, I do want to pull a few cards just to kind of see things that you may need to know about the situation. So I'm going to pull a few cards from this deck. Okay. Okay, that's... I wasn't going to take that many, but... Let's see. Okay, so we have friend here. We have hope. We have service. We have foe, we have journey, 
we have constancy, and then we have servant. And I, service and servant. Okay, so I think for a couple of things, I think this person could be trying to come back in, hoping to rekindle the relationship with you, trying to, you know, do it in a friendly manner as friends, you know, be there for you, you be there for them casually, you know, trying to help you with stuff, you know, what you've been going through, can I be there for you, can you want to talk about it, that kind of thing. They're, because they're recognizing the person that they're with, the person they may have even chosen over you, for some of you, it's not, they, they were, they're realizing this person never really was for them, that this person actually, you know, had hidden motives or attention. This person is not really their, it's really like their enemy in disguise, right? Um, you know, there could be distance here and there may be offers for like to possibly travel or coming to see you, you know, because they want some kind of consistency, you know, they feel kind of stuck and bound to this other person and very unhappy about it. So they do want to talk and they kind of want to open things up, maybe in like a friendly manner. You know, but it's with the hope that they'll be able to kind of move things forward in a romantic relationship. But what you need to be aware of here is that they may still be involved with this person. And even if they want to detach from them, they may fear that. They may feel like they can't do it. Again, each situation may vary a little bit here and there. But that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do send in donations. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.